Hi there YouTube, Mark Fahey here. I just am flabbergasted by the things that are going on in today's games industry. It seems so far removed from normal consumerism and normal uh, sense of ownership and whatever. I mean, <laughs> it's so far removed from um, proper consumer friendly business <laughs> that I'm just I'm just amazed by what what the games industry gets away with and what we as consumers actually seem to be accepting from uh, said games industry um, consoles I mean Sony coming out with the fact that you know 12 year 15 year console lifespans are idiotic and probably uh, you know with with the PlayStation 5 already in the works ready to replace the PlayStation 4 uh, mid console iterations of other consoles it's it really is quite interesting to see uh, what will become of the games industry I mean <laughs> yeah I'm just I'm just I'm just flabbergasted it has changed a whole lot and I, I I don't I'm not sure if it if it is changing for 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 a good thing I mean holding on to a cell phone like this this is actually my work phone it may actually go off because I'm pulling a shift but using a, a feature phone like this this is an old Nokia and it has a standby time of about one to two weeks <laughs> and it's just a very nice little handy slab that I probably will be using in my next job as well I mean this does everything uh, a phone needs to be uh, doing it also support, uh, supports uh, new networks and stuff excellent little phone but people have been buying new iterations of this phone I mean yeah of course I mean <laughs> iPhone 6 plus work phone iPhone 6 plus iPhone 7 iPhone 8 iPhone you know um, hardware isn't lasting such a long time anymore Commerce 64 lasted a very long time PlayStation 4 lasted an incredible amount of time the Xbox 360 is going strong the PlayStation 3 actually lasted quite a long time but the PlayStation 4 well there already there's already thought about replacing it you know in the works and uh, <laughs> I mean if it if it would be a, a, a Microsoft console I think well backwards compatibility you know treating it as a complete uh, a complete platform that is backwards compatible I think that's a good thing uh, it may not seem like an idiotic uh, thing to just buy a game and invest in a platform because you'll keep having access to to your uh, games as the years go by but games with their proprietary formats most of the time uh, it's a locked system a locked in system and you know cartridges that are playable or discs that are playable in one version aren't playable on the other version on the new version and uh, uh, companies are you know very intent uh, very keen on selling you the same content all over again and again and again I mean the number of improvements <laughs> HD improvements of, uh, of a lot of uh, HD improvements of HD improvements I mean you, you 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 actually see HD 360 games Xbox 360 games that get an HD treatment on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox one which is you know, <laughs> idiotic because they already look on the Xbox 360 what's 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 extra but yeah the ability to play it in 4k instead of 720p 1080p uh, probably draws people in just like you know you have to have an, a new phone each year or each two years but it's just insanity um, yeah I mean it's totally different from music and from 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 video uh, or movies because uh, the platforms that these uh, 
used to come on the, the physical media is actually accessible has been accessible I mean, this little this little stereo uh, system it actually has a, a tape deck <laughs> on top it it reads uh dvds uh DVDs. cds and it it's able to receive uh analog audio analog radio so it's a very nice little backwards compatible system there's an optical in so you could you can also also um, uh, you know uh, attach uh, more modern uh audio sources but yeah it's it's uh, movies also i mean dvd is is you know video cd dvd you can play those back on a blu-ray player so you know it's it doesn't hurt to invest in a certain platform because it's it's accessible in the next and back in the early days of audio you know with with records with vinyl vinyl is still being produced and vinyl is still being played but you know investing in a vinyl collection isn't a bad thing because you know you can still play uh, the, the the tracks and stuff uh, i mean there are of course a lot of proprietary formats that have come and went you know the eight track or all sorts of other things that techmon actually has a great series of obsolete media formats both video and audio i recommend checking out that channel but there's there's a difference between media audio video and video games for some reason uh there's there's a paywall there's a, a, a wall of accessibility there's limits to what you can do with the media uh even if they are on optical media and stuff and emulation is a way to preserve this and i think i'm, I'm a big fan of emulation just because of that i mean uh, games are locked into a certain hardware configuration and there's no way to play it in anything else except for emulation and of course then these things come in incredibly handy <laughs> yeah it's no counter six it's actually a raspberry pi 3 contained in a very nice um case a 3d printed case of a Commodore 64 and it comes with a built-in led that is powered off uh, the io pins and uh, it has access to the SD card and yeah great of course the keyboard doesn't work <laughs> that would actually be awesome if you have a working keyboard like this but yeah I mean with a Raspberry Pi you can emulate uh, many many game systems and have access to a huge percentage of your game library 16 32-bit game consoles are actually pretty okay running from a Raspberry Pi 3 now, backwards compatibility, I've, I've talked about it a lot. It's, a, it's actually, a, I think it's a good way. It's a good thing for companies to provide access to the older uh, software uh, so people won't feel like stupid shits for investing in a dead-end platform. Um, so that's that's a good thing but uh sony does it completely different uh compared to uh, microsoft microsoft actually is opening up the old original xbox uh the xbox 360 on the xbox one platform um but sony is dead set on uh <laughs> selling us the same content over and over and over again uh, taking away backwards compatibility, uh, at, at least uh, the, the later iterations of the PlayStation 3 were PlayStation 1 backwards compatible. But I, I actually, I sort of hoped the PlayStation 4 to be PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 backwards compatible. But no, nope, only streaming, only... And streaming doesn't work for the entire world. You know, there's huge parts of the world that just don't work with streaming services and stuff, so... Um, but anyways, and then you have Nintendo. Nintendo bringing out a console that flops, the Wii U. Then bringing out a console that is hugely, hugely um, uh, successful, which is the 3DS, the new 3DS. Then actually <laughs> cancelling the new 3DS in favor of the 2DS and the regular 3DS. I mean... <laughs> 
and marketing the switch, putting uh, putting out accessories, uh, accessories. I mean, uh, games on shelves on shops around the world without <laughs> without a lot of people actually being able to to actually buy the console. I managed to snap up uh, snap up uh, a console uh, about a month ago, I guess, or two months ago. I actually made a video about it. It actually sat on my shelf and I was able to get it. I was able to buy it together with actually another system that I actually didn't think I would be able to get, which actually is related to this, sort of, kind of, and something else I want to talk about. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> I thought, well, finally, the switches will be available mainstream, but it was just a small bunch because even now, even at this point, uh, the switches are not available on the shelves. They're just as a huge shortage. And still, it's, it's, it seems to be a very, you know, a very, um, uh, a very popular platform, but it's just in, insane. How can you bring something to the market, to the masses, and, and, and at the same time, just have it so utterly unavailable for a lot of people? I just, <laughs> I have a hard time figuring out why. I mean, and they seem to get away with it because people just want to have a switch. And, uh, you know, they're, they just go crazy for it. And then at the same time, <laughs> uh, the whole NES Mini debacle. Well, you know, when I got a switch, I actually was able to get one of these. This is actually the NES Mini, NES Classic Mini. Very nice console. And I was able to get it off the shelf, regular price, a bit overpriced, but yeah, regular price. And I was able to get it. Now, was it easy to get it? No. Is it is it a, is it possible to get one? No. Uh, is it very very popular? Yes. Uh, <laughs> they've even released a SNES Mini. The innards will probably be the same, because this actually is quite capable of, of running NES, SNES games, Super Nintendo games as well. Probably it's going to be based on the same board. I wouldn't be surprised. It will be housed in a Super Nintendo case basically have the same thing. This comes with 30 games, the Super Nintendo one comes with 21 games and the unreleased uh, Star Fox 2 game, 21 games only, 30, 21, people will buy it, you know, but it's unavailable. Pre-orders were cancelled, people in America were, were able to have a, uh, well there was a bit, bit uh, a big uh, was it, uh, revival of being able to, uh, to uh, buy it uh, pre-order it at, uh, over at Walmart, but these orders got cancelled. And of course, over here in the Netherlands, <laughs> I don't even try. No, it's just, uh, yeah. Now, these devices are hugely successful. Why does Nintendo make so few available? This came out, um, and I think it came out in order to... Um, to sort of bridge the time between the switch being able being available in the sh in the stores and having some sort of momentum going uh, so people would you know would still flock to Nintendo and uh, when the switches were available these could be phased out i think they're doing the same with uh, super nintendo and I, a lot of people still aren't able to buy switches so you know to keep people interested in nintendo they bring out the super nintendo uh, version of this uh, console but still, it's just uh, uh, you know, it's it's just a temporary uh, measure, and they of course produce a very little uh, numbers of this uh, console, and people are still left wanting. Now, isn't this going to bite them in the ass, kick them in the face, uh, kick them in the nuts at some point? I think it will, but perhaps it won't. I'm not sure. Um, what did I do with my NES Mini? Basically, it, you can do so much more with a Raspberry Pi 3. Basically, use the same controllers, everything, uh, the emulation software, emula uh, uh, emulation station, and uh, RetroPie. Excellent stuff. It works on a ton of platforms. You can even run RetroPie on the PC now. Ubuntu, Windows, there's, there's a ton of versions. Also, Android. 
So great stuff, but why get this when you got when you are able to do everything on this? Well, for a lot of people, the price of this, including a case, will be enough. Will be will be sufficient. Why get this? Well, I'm a bit of a Nintendo freak. I I'm I'm quite a fan of Nintendo. I used to be quite a quite a fan of Nintendo, but the way they've been behaving ever ever since. Ever, actually, ever since the Switch, and they were great with the 3DS. I was an ambassador for the 3DS, and I got uh, early access to the new 3DS and stuff. Excellent stuff, you know. I really was very interested uh, in, in the platform. Of course, if you make a YouTube video on anything Nintendo-like, uh, <laughs> and you want to have a revenue... Well, I don't have that revenue on, on Nintendo videos, but yeah, you, I mean, they're very, very, very strict on... Uh, Add revenue from 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 uh, from games and uh, videos on, on Nintendo games and stuff. But why, why, why this? Why did I get this? What did I do with it? Well, uh, you're able to use the original or original. Well, they 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 have a, a Wii style, Wii U style uh, connector. Why, why get this? What did I do with it? Well, I actually, <laughs> I, un un I unboxed it. I hooked it up to my PC over an HDMI mini cable. I ran a cracking tool and put 666 <laughs> Nintendo games next to the original 30 that were on there. So in total, 666 games, uh, including the 30 original games. Now, my entire Nintendo library, an 8-bit Nintendo library, is actually playable from this system. Only a few won't be able to play because the mappers aren't supported, and I run them on this. <laughs> uh, it retains uh, the original ROMs, it, 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 uh, the games, it, it retains the um, the, the original menu structure it just adds which is actually quite good and there's a lot there's actually um, more room in the flash memory to store other games you can actually install retro art basically do a lot of the same stuff that you uh, would do on this one you can do on this one because it's basically a some sort of arm based uh, almost android like system linux um, but yeah i mean it, it does feel nice to, to just have this original Nintendo console. Would I want? Would I want to get? The, will I want to get the Future Tense? Would I get the SNES Mini Classic? Yes, I would at a regular price, off the shelf. I'm not going to pre-order it. I'm not going to buy um, it from a scalper. Just regular price. But will I get it? Perhaps. Now this actually came out pretty hindered like you know nintendo brings out stuff it brings it tends to bring out consoles without a power supply well this came without a power supply you have to supply your own power supply which of course i uh, i did i did buy a separate power supply now, the cables included in it, it does come with an hdmi cable it's not a long cable so it sits very close to your TV but the uh, the wires on these on these controllers are actually incredibly short they're, they're 60 centimeters 50 centimeters yeah you really have to sit very close to the console on the console have to sit have to, uh, has to sit very close to the TV now the solution is to buy third-party extender cables which elongates the stupidly short uh original cables now let me see if i can untangle this this is actually the size can i this is actually the length of the original cable which is just insane well you have extender cables which turn it into a six feet long cable pretty similar to the original uh cable on on the original controller so you can sit further away so this with this cable they should have brought it out with this cable of course i got a second controller with with the cable and i just love to play 
the games on the original controller because they, they just feel very nice they feel very nice um yeah uh why <laughs> why what's the reasoning behind it what's the reason behind creating shortages are people going to flock to it anyway is it something that we just accept that only a, a minority of people have access to luxury goods, have access to healthcare, have access to good food, have access to school, education. It seems to be normal that there, there exists some sort of happy few mentality. Oh, I, you know, I, <laughs> yeah, I have one. I don't care about the rest of the world. I have one. Well, I, I was able to get one. Who cares, you know? <sighs> I just hate that mentality. So, emulation, yes, because Nintendo X like stupid fools not, not bringing this to the masses. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just insanity inception. Insanity inception. Uh, yeah, so that's, ah, it's a good way to terminate my video because I am getting a call.